Hello, my name is Luke. I'm here to show you the good stuff, stuff that is going to make you a better music artist to help you finish songs quicker, faster, and just to a higher quality so that you can put them out in the world, you can show your friends, do whatever you fancy. I've got a quick and dirty trick for you here today, and it's to do with lead vocals specifically, how to get them to sound like this amazing pop vocal that people are just in awe of. Okay, and the example that I'm going to show you today is a song of mine called McQueen. I'll play the verse and then the chorus, and then I'll break down exactly what the effect is. I can see myself with somebody like you now, but you'll never be me anybody you now. What I gotta do to make you think I could be him? Do you even know I gotta think for you? I can see myself with somebody like you. Amazing. So, can you hear it? Maybe, maybe not. It's not reverb, it's not delay, it's not EQ compression. I'm going to assume that the vocal you have has been well recorded and has been mixed well. If you haven't or don't know how to do that, I do have a video on this channel going over that, so you can definitely check that out. Or I can break down in further a bit more on this particular vocal, what I'm doing. Just let me know down in the comments. The effect in question is this one here. It's the CLA vocal plugin. And it's very specifically this effect here, the wide effect on the pitch section, just there. You see that? This little fader here. What this is, this is a chorus, essentially. And it, what chorus does is it slightly phases the signal and you can spread the chorus effect out. So you can make it sound super wide, okay? It's very common to hear that sort of sound on guitars, especially from the 80s, right? I personally love that sound. I think it sounds massive, incredible, uh, but it's a great trick to use on your vocals as well. Let me solo the vocal and I'll play it you with, excuse me, with and then without. So this is with the effect. I can see myself with somebody like you now, but you'll never give me any part of you now. And then if I turn it off, you will need to have good speakers or headphones on for this. I can see myself with somebody like you now, but you'll never give me any part of you now. Can you hear the difference? When I engage the wide effect, you can hear in the left and right ears that my vocal just takes up a bit more of that space there. So rather than it being dead center like it was just then, it pans everything and makes it wide, okay? Take a listen again. This is with, well, I'll show you without and then with. I can see myself with somebody like you now. And with I can see myself with somebody like you now makes it massively wider and I absolutely love it now I will say the effect is quite extreme in this song but that is a creative choice it's very stylized it's something that I wanted for this so you would probably dial in something a little bit less and I'll show you an example of that if I grab this little automation line here and pull it down it will turn generally the wide effect down, as you can see. And so let's take a listen with slightly less. I can see myself with somebody like you now. And without. I can see myself with somebody like you now. I mean, it's it's crazy to me how much of a difference it makes. So I definitely recommend using this wide setting. You can also use stereo or spreader. Uh, they each have different kind of sounds and properties. So depending on what you're going for, depending on what you like the sound of, go for that. And then if you really want to crank it and move it all the way up, this is how it would sound. I can see myself with somebody like you now. Sounds like there's multiple versions of me, uh, which might be a good or bad thing. So let's put that back down. I think it was about there, wasn't it? Uh, if you don't have this particular plugin, the CLA vocal plugin, I do encourage that you get it because it's just got some really nice effects in there. I'm using the slap delay in there for the song. So if you're looking for just quick effects to add to your vocal, um, then this is a really nice tool to have. Usually it's on offer on the Waves website, but yeah, check it out. If you don't have that plugin though, there are a few options. You can use Logic's own uh, modulation section here. Go down there and click on Chorus. This will be in every single DAW, so even if you don't use Logic, you will have this effect. And you can see I've got a little chorus here. And then obviously I can just dial in the mix to my taste. I can see myself with somebody like you now. But you'll never give me any part of you now. 
The only thing with this one is that it's not quite as wide as the other effect that you heard. So you might need to play around with the rate and intensity. I can see myself with somebody like you now. But you'll never give me any part of you now. There you go. So if I take the rate all the way down and then increase the intensity dramatically, that's actually going to make it wider. I can see myself with somebody like you now. But you'll never give me any part of you. And then without. I can see myself with somebody like you now. But you'll never Again, just makes my vocal more central. It make, gives it less kind of width and excitement and sparkle. I don't know. It just adds some really fun stuff. Some other alternatives that you can use. Uh, I really love a Juno chorus effect. Uh, this is from the Juno keyboard. Uh, this is a great sounding one. This one is from Arturia, so this one you do have to pay for. Uh, but I will show you a free alternative in just a second. Uh, and yet yeah, again, you can dial this in. I can see myself with somebody like you. Let me crank now, it. But you never give me you see this one? You now. Goes to the left what and right. I gotta do to make you think I could be him. Do you? That's a really great one to use. If you're looking for a free version, I recommend the Tal chorus here. I'll just show you. There it is. It's on the website. It's under the free plugin section there. It is the Tal Chorus LX, this one here. This is the Juno emulation. Go ahead, go download it. It is sick. And you can then get that same effect on your vocals. Uh, there's a few others. You can use one from, uh, what are they called? Sound Toys. If I go to my favorites, I've got an effect rack here. If I open this up, they have a, where is it? A micro shift. This is very similar here. So you again would mix in the, the intensity that you want. I can see myself with somebody like you now. Again, they all have slightly different properties. So experiment with the ones that you like and then go from there. So that is the quick and dirty rundown of how to get your vocals sounding lush, beautiful in the mix, even if it's just a single voice, quick and easy, quick and dirty method. If you have any other ways to get your vocals sounding nice, wide, sparkly, let me know down in the comments. And if you like this sort of stuff, again, let me know, like and follow, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.